And you know what that means. It's time for weekly purchases. That time of the week where we investigate what came through the door via DHL, Amazon, United States Postal Service, UPS, FedEx, and of course that old outlaw, that old outlaw, Waylon Jennings. And we also talk the toy news of the week and we wrap it all up into a ball and we do call it weekly purchases. And I'm just back from Topeka, Kansas. Just flew back in and boy, my arms are tired as they say. But I did spend the week down in Kansas. All oh, beautiful this time of year, old Kansas. Uh, a lot of meetings, a lot of long 14, 15 hour days. Of course, I was in the lab trying to get down to uh, what is going on in the Jack Sticky disease. So I'm trying to get a cure for that very, very close. Thought I had a breakthrough, just missed it by that much. Missed it by that much. Hopefully one of these days we cure that disease once and for all. So stay tuned to the channel for that. But of course, we got a lot going on in the channel this week. A ton, a ton of videos as usual. We're going to recap those. Got a couple other housekeeping things. Then we're going to get into the toy news and then we're going to get into the back half the old weekly purchases and we got a ton of stuff this week of course me being gone for a full week uh, causes trouble I got a lot of unboxings to do this weekend got to find the time in the schedule like I said I was gone all week Friday night as I'm filming this of course Friday afternoon Friday night Kyle going to Cheap Trick Cheap Trick is in town one of my all-time favorite bands I am going to the Cheap Trick concert, so i got to find time for that as well. So a lot going on. Always busy. Uh, never a second to myself, it seems like. I'm always doing something, but wouldn't have it any other way. If you uh, don't use it, you rust away, some might say. But let's kick off the uh, reviews of what we did on the channel this week, and hopefully you guys checked all these out. If not, here's a little reminder. But we kicked it off, I believe it was last Saturday, all the way back to last Saturday. We did all-out reveals. Of course, Jazzwares had their big dump of new product that is coming. We broke that down in full. So about 40 minutes of video of all the AEW stuff. We went through item by item, figure by figure of what was coming out. Hopefully you guys check that video out. Uh, we also unboxed, speaking of AEW, the Walmart exclusive Adam Page. Old Western Wear Adam Page. We unboxed it on the channel this week. We unboxed Bane from DC Multiverse, a figure a lot of us have been waiting a long time for. Very happy to have that in the collection. San Diego Comic Con exclusive 2022 NECA Gremlins Greta Wedding Dress Edition. We unboxed that on the channel. Now, not a lot of you guys like Gremlins. I like Gremlins. I'm a kid of the 80s. Uh, you guys know me. I like to do those kind of things. But we do have that up there. Forgot another AEW one we had was the Ringside Collectible Exclusive. JR AEW figure. Ringside only. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. He is up there right now, and you're going to need him with Tony Schiavone and Excalibur here in the future. Uh, we unboxed some of the deluxe version uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures from the movie, of course. We unboxed Michelangelo and Shredder this week on the channel, working through those sets there. So we got those. Another NECA figure, a little deeper cut for a lot of people, is the Phantom. We unboxed the Phantom from NECA. Got to get a deal all day long on that one. Super 7, we took a look at Conan. Uh, two different Conans this week, and we got a few more Conan videos that will sprinkle in. If you're a Patreon member, of course you've had those for i don't know five weeks or something like that but they are coming to our traditional youtube here soon we also talked about null and venom two pack a deluxe pack a pricey pack but a very very cool pack one that looks really really good definitely check that one out you don't want to miss that video uh zack and smash speaking ninja turtles once again zack and smash two pack from the cartoon line hitting your target stores right now if you're on the lookout for that one uh get after it we did a throwback video one of those ones that's been on the patreon for a long time is eric bischoff two jacks eric bischoff figures we unbox those as we do get ready for a ruthless aggression mattel eric bischoff in the not too distant future we did our weekly top five of course doink the clown coming in hot off of his Ultimate Edition with the New Generation Arena. We did Diesel last week. We got to do Doink this week, and that's exactly what we did. And, of course, we did my figure hunt. What a figure hunt this week out in Kansas, doing some traveling off the beaten path. Always fun seeing new stores. Uh, I don't know. I'm crazy. I don't know if a lot of you guys are like this, but whenever I get to new stores I've never been into, it's just I love it. I love it. And, of course, you to by now, if you've been to a lot of stores across the country, you know the different footpaths and uh, different setups for each Walmart and Target, how they are. I remember looking at the Topeka Walmart I was in and like, wow, this is a weird-looking Topeka Walmart or weird-looking Walmart. Uh, Topeka doesn't matter. But it was very interesting seeing some of that stuff. And, of course, you saw some of the stuff. Uh, couldn't believe what I found out on the hunt this week. So it was a very, very good figure hunt video. Check that thing out if you haven't watched it already. And then the last video of the week, 
Mezco 112 Wolverine. Well, that gets us into the next segue here. I unboxed it. My first Mezco 112. Well, no, I did unbox Cable a while back. But my first Wolverine Mezco. How about that? Uh, but I did get that via Entertainment Earth. And Entertainment Earth uh, saw my channel was growing, all that kind of fun stuff. Said, hey, you're getting close to 20,000 subscribers. We want to partner with you for a giveaway. And they said, would you be interested in this Wolverine figure? I saw you just did a Wolverine Top 10. And I said, well, of course I am. I am very interested in that. So they sent one my way and they said, hey, guess what, Kyle? We're going to give two of these away to one of your subscribers. So if you didn't check out that Mezco 112 Wolverine video, what are you waiting for? Go over there. You got to follow the rules, though. Go to that very Mezco Wolverine video. You got to like that video. You got to comment down below. You got to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you got to subscribe to Entertainment Earth's YouTube channel. If you do all that stuff, you are going to be in for two of these. I will probably announce the winner next week in weekly purchases as long as we're at 20,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Uh, but we'll give away two of those Wolverines. Can you believe that? How cool would that be? Uh, so more to come on that Wolverine giveaway. I will post the winners on my social media, all that kind of stuff as well. So make sure you're following Sir Paul 64 over there at Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson over at Instagram, and of course, this YouTube channel. Uh, but this is the Wolverine we are giving away right here. Very cool steel case for it. Just a beautiful, beautiful figure. Uh, really, really cool. Not sure. If I had to redo the top 10, I'm not sure exactly where it would land. But this is definitely the most high-end Wolverine figure I have ever owned in my collection, for sure. Uh, so check out that video. Make sure you're part of the giveaway. Follow all the rules, all that kind of fun stuff. But very, very cool of Entertainment Earth to hook us up with this and be able to give away two of these. And of course, as usual, this Discount code Kyle or the link in the description below, whatever works better for you at Entertainment Earth, saves you 10% on all in-stock merchandise. That is a heck of a deal. Play all that long game, wait till it comes in to hot off the truck, and that's when you swoop in and you save 10%. That's what I'm doing. Gotta, gotta get a deal all day long, and that's what, like I said, I'm doing. So the Mezco giveaway, make sure you enter into that. And then, of course, talking Patreon this week. Uh, Patreon every month, we do do give a giveaway over at Patreon. This month for September, we're giving away Elite 95, Bobby Lashley, and Spirit, G.I. Joe Classified. It's a little best of two of my favorite worlds, of course. So uh, if you want to get a chance to win these, head on over to the Patreon. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon, and you can be a part of that giveaway as well. So some cool giveaways this month uh, via the Patreon. Now we got to jump into all the news of the week. All right, let's get down to the week's news here, and it is very wrestling heavy, crazy, I know, but it's all wrestling this week uh, with a couple of things mixed in, but it's primarily wrestling and a lot of this stuff outside of the AEW, outside of the Mattel world in the wrestling figure department. But let's kick it off here. We did once again have the Power Town update. Of course, September 16th is when the Power Town figures go up for pre-order. Powertown.com. You can order them. Supposed to ship by the end of this year. We'll see what happens. And they did dangle that carrot a little bit more with Kerry Von Erich, of course. Kerry Von Erich, one of the Von Erichs, the former Texas Tornado, as we know. Uh, we did see some images of him in package. Now, once again, these are just renders. So a lot of people are really excited. Like, oh, these are cool. They're just taking those renders, putting them in package. So it's all around rendering. I'm really ready for some hands-on figures to see how these guys look in person. Uh, hopefully we get that very soon, but I do anticipate every single week uh, leading up to this, they're going to announce, here's another one, shown in package, things like that. But September 16th is the day. That is the day we're going to be able to pre-order these. They do say there's going to be some discount codes coming. They do say you'll save money if you buy them all like me. So I'm happy about that. Got to get the deal. Uh, I'll be picking up the Power Town figures, and we'll review those on the channel when they do come to me. I talked about it a couple weeks ago, or maybe it was last week's video. To me, they really do look like those uh, Jack's Ruthless Aggression exclusive figures back in the day, the boxed figures. Wasn't a huge fan of that. I would have rather seen something more akin to a Mattel Jazzwares with the J-Hook, a carded type figure. But I guess this is a little bit smaller, a little bit more eco-friendly. It just fits around the figure. Uh, we'll see. We'll see once we get these guys at the table here, hopefully the end of this year. So more to come on that. We did see from uh, Zombie Sailor, Danhausen in package. Danhausen coming very soon. Uh, we know Zombie Sailor, a lot of people uh, were worked up about the weight for the figures, all that kind of stuff, which really is to be expected for anybody that's not Mattel, AEW. It's going to take time for these things to come out. We've seen that historically. We see it with Zombie Sailor, but I know a lot of people pre-ordered that Danhausen. They're waiting for that. They're going to be really excited when that does come. 
but we got a little in package images of him. Of course, we are getting extra hands now, was kind of the big news for Danhausen. Uh, much like the Earl Hebner figure, we're going to get an extra set of hands for Danhausen so he can hold all of his accessories. So Danhausen coming very, very soon. Uh, we did see a little AEW news this week, and this one just made me kind of go, ugh, I don't like this. I don't know what to think about this. But of course, the Cody Supreme, AEW Supreme line. We unboxed Cody a month ago on the channel. What's it been right now? My old personal friend, Cody Rhodes, he even reached out how much he liked that video. We all remember that. Uh, but Cody Rhodes Supreme, we unboxed it on the channel. Thought we were done with Cody Rhodes Supreme. Oh no, wait, there's more. Now Walmart is going to have Supremes. We talked about it in that AEW Reveals video. We understood that there was going to be a Kenny Omega over there, and that was going to be the Walmart exclusive. Well, now Cody is a Walmart exclusive as well, and the only changes from the figure we unboxed is the different uh, tight colors. He's got two different tight colors on top of the one before. This is making it very difficult for AEW fans to be a completionist. I can't imagine anybody. We talked about this probably a year ago. I know a lot of people started out saying, I'm all in. I'm going to buy everything. Slowly that eked out. And people said, nah, I'm not going to be a on card and loose. I'm just doing loose. Or I'm just going to dabble in one or the other. Uh, and then now you got people, well, I'm all in. I'm going to be loose. Well, now what do you do? What do you do with these Supremes? Because you really do need both figures so you can have both looks going. You really do. You can smoke and mirrors that with some other torsos. I know we can kind of work our way to that. Uh, but at the end of the day, what do you do? And I'm even thinking like right here, I was saying I'm going to be a Supreme uh, in the box completionist. That's a cool line. Just like my Mattels, I'll just be a completionist with Supremes. Now I'm second guessing that. I'm like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do that. If they're going to do variants like this on every single one, as much as this Cody figure is awesome, it will be a top 10 figure of the year in the AEW line for sure. Uh, I don't know if it warrants getting four different versions, which really turns into like eight different versions of the different combinations you can do there. It's just really impossible, especially in these times. As much as I would love to have a mid on card and loose set, I'm going to have to cut it. I'm going to have to dump the mid on card set. I'll probably keep Series 1 just to have uh, Malachi Black when he comes out. Fingers crossed he still comes out. I'll probably get one of those on card as well just because I'm a fan. But after that, it'll probably just be loose. I don't know if I'll do two. I don't know what I'll do. Uh, but it's really one of those things where it's great for the fan base getting more content, but sometimes it's bad for more content. And I guess you could say that same thing about this very YouTube channel. Uh, you know, it, sometimes they say too much content's a bad thing for the channel. Uh, so maybe I should cut back to one video a day or three videos a week, something like that. I don't really care about that as much as I care about just enjoying doing videos, pumping them out, uh, being a, a database of sorts to check off stuff. And even for myself, Part of the reason I do this channel, getting into my TED Talk here, part of the reason I do that is if I ever have to go back to, okay, I need to find Bobby Lashley from Elite 95, what accessories did he come with? Well, I pop in my video and I can kind of compare that kind of stuff. So anyways, it makes it very difficult for fans with this. And I can see it tuning a lot of people off to the line. I know a lot of people say, we don't want you to be a completionist. You shouldn't have to buy all that. Well, there's a lot of people that want to be. They want to support the product in full. But it's really making it financially, obviously, impossible to do that uh, in the AEW stuff. So we'll see what happens with that. But I want to call out that Cody Supreme. Very interesting times there. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I Actually, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So there it is there. Uh, Rush Collectibles coming this week. It was the week of C.W. Anderson. Oh, C.W. What a week. What a glorious week for him. He is getting a retro style uh, throwback ECW OSFTM figure. So we kind of figured that would come up. Uh, they're doing all those ECW guys that never got those. So that makes a lot of sense there. But they also announced he is going to get a retro. And once again, that makes sense because Rush Collectibles signed him to a contract. They're going to make as much as they can out of him. So why not give him a retro? Retros are a weird thing right now. We'll talk retros in the back half on the purchases, but retros are weird. I don't know if retro mania is quite there anymore. We've been talking about the last few months. So many people making retros. It's really dulling the brand down a little bit, and I think we're seeing that with Mattel as that latest four-pack. I don't even know if it's sold out yet, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I just think a lot of stuff has cooled down on retros. You guys sound off. Are you out of the retro game? Or maybe a lot of people never got into the retro game. Who knows? Sound off in the comments down below. But Rush coming with C.W. Anderson and a retro. And then Chella, kind of, you know, a partner with Rush. We'll call him a partner, not a sister company, but a partner. Chella coming in this week with some updates. I know they've had, uh, the owner of Chella's had some family issues. I mean, that's all they've really said. Uh, at the same time, you are a business. And as much as it is terrible to have family issues and things like that, uh, we all know about that kind of stuff. Uh, it's terrible to have, but you are a business. So if you want your business to succeed, somebody's got to pick up the mantle. Somebody's got to do the work or you got to do the work at the 
end of the day. And that's just the, the pain of it all. I mean, I remember when my first daughter was born. I was born and I said, hey, I got to go. <laughs> Unfortunately, I got to go to work. I have to go do payroll. Uh, I'm going to have 100 employees just screaming at me if I don't get payroll done. Uh, and then I came back. So let mom rest with the baby for a little bit, come back. But it's stuff like that you got to do if you're in a business. As much as it sucks, it's just kind of you got to have some sacrifices every once in a while. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But Chella did say, hey, Luna Vashon, we didn't like the sculpt. We didn't like how that looked. So they showed us the old sculpt. They showed us the improved new sculpt. So I think that is really cool. You know, constant improvement is what they're looking at. And they're making things happen like that. That is really cool. So Chella is doing that. We also saw Dynamite Kid from the Uncensored line, uh, very much akin to the Mattel Elites. Man, this looks good. This looks, you could probably convince a lot of people this is a Mattel Elite figure is how good that looks. I don't know how that's going to go for copyrights and stuff like that. I don't know if Mattel's going to say, wait a minute, that's in our intellectual property looking just like that. Uh, but that is cool. That is going to go perfect with that British Bulldog. I can't wait to get that Dynamite. It sounds like it's coming sooner than later, but not as soon as a lot of us would have hoped it would have. Uh, but that Dynamite does look really cool. And then when I was thinking about the other day, I was like, wait a minute, didn't I order this? And I went back to my orders. I ordered it in November of last year. It was the Big Daddy Retro. I got the Giant Haystacks. We talked about him on the channel. But I said, where's that Big Daddy? And by the way, where's that glow-in-the-dark atom bomb? Well, I ordered those two at the same time, so I guess they're going to ship together. Big Daddy should be coming pretty soon, they said. Uh, also, I think Al Snow was coming fairly soon as well. So we're getting a few things from Chella, but a lot of stuff has slowed down. Uh, we'll just hopefully this will all work out, and hopefully we'll get our figures sooner than later, like I said. So Chella's got some news this week, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, we also heard this week, it kind of through the grapevine, I don't think it's been officially announced yet, but there's been enough hints at it online, but it sounds like we're going to get an AEW announcer set. Now, we've seen before, uh, we've had the AEW Cracker Barrel set, the Extreme set. Uh, we've had a few of those things. I think the next one that's coming, no idea on timetable. Who knows? It could be out by the time we have this video. Uh, but we do see that we're going to get an announce table, and we're going to get the monitors or the computers, the laptops, whatever you want to call them. I think some headsets and maybe that background diorama behind the guys. Uh, to go along, of course, with JR, Tony Schiavone, and Excalibur, the ringside collectibles exclusive figures. So you can build that whole announce team. Makes all the sense in the world. I don't know why they wouldn't do that. That's just an easy slam dunk, an easy one. Get us that. Of course, we're going to have the chairs with the figures. But you get the table, you get the laptops, the headsets, uh, you get the background. That's a good set. That's going to be a good one. I can't wait to pick that one up. When it goes up on Ringside Collectibles, use discount code KYLE, save 10%, as we always say. So that should be coming, i got to think, before years out. Before the years out, I would have to imagine. Uh, we also saw Boss Fight come in this week with some new figures. Guys, we knew that was coming, but the pre-order has went live at all the usual stops. Uh, the Entertainment Earths of the World, of course, uh, Big Bad Toy Stores. Got to think Ringside's going to get these. I know they have the other ones up for pre-order. Would have to think these will be up at Ringside as well. But we're getting figures of uh, Hijo Del Perro, the one I'm least familiar with of the group. Uh, Vampiro, not quite the Vampiro. Well, it's weird because I think a lot of people in America especially want the WCW Vampiro. But a lot of hardcore wrestling fans, especially Lucha Libre fans, this is the Vampiro they probably want uh, from back in the day. So we are getting that back in the day Vampiro. Black Taurus is coming. Sign me up for Black Taurus. Harry Bipedal Creature. You know I'm all in on that Black Taurus figure. And then the one that excites a lot of people is, of course, Ultimo Dragon. Everybody loves Ultimo Dragon. Uh, long standard wrestler. Back to the WCW days. New Japan. All over the world. Really all over the world. Uh, one of the greatest uh, cruiserweight wrestlers of all time, we'll call him. And of course, I met him one time, uh, got to hold him in my arms and stuff. It was a great time. Uh, Ultimo Dragon, a good guy. But these are up for pre-order right now. Uh, shipping sometime next year. We'll see what happens with shipping and stuff. Uh, but very cool. I know we unboxed a few of these guys on the on the channel a while back. Check out those reviews if you want to see some boss fight wrestling figures. Uh, but I got my pre-order in for all four of those. Have to do it. Have to get those. Very, very cool. We also saw this week, a lot of people were saying, where is that NWO Macho Man? Why isn't it at my Target? What is going on with that? It's an interesting time at Target, and this kind of segues into a little bit more Target clearance talk, I guess. We'll, we'll talk a little of that. We've talked about clearance the last few weeks in weekly purchases, about my uh, crystal ball into the future of what I think is going to happen here. And it's already coming true a couple weeks before I thought it would. Uh, but we did see this week the Macho Man Ultimate Edition NWO 
Going to bargain hunt stores. I have no bargain hunt stores around me, but it looks like $18 at bargain hunt. So if you're looking for a bargain, you're looking for a macho man, head on over to bargain hunt. It sounds like he might be there. Uh, very, very interesting. I don't know what's going on with the distribution there. A lot of people are saying, well, it's because of the Mr. T Hulk Hogan is slowing down macho man coming to stores. That's not the case. It would be Batista slowing down because... That's the one that shares the same spot on the pegs, the skew, all that kind of stuff. So it's not Macho Man and Mr. Or it's not Hulk Hogan, Mr. T slowing it down. And it's definitely not Batista. I am seeing Batistas out there if you check out my figure hunt video. However, I'm not seeing Batista out there in crazy amounts like we are Mr. T and Hulk Hogan. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with that Macho Man if it got hung up. But that could end up being one of those figures that just kind of misses uh, traditional retail a little bit. Just kind of got caught in the mix somehow. Who knows? It could come in all the, our Target stores very soon as well. But if you have a bargain hunt store, you're looking for Macho Man, it might be worth a visit for you. Speaking of bargain hunt stores, I did check out an Ollie's this week for the first time ever in my travels. Ollie's coming a little bit farther north, so I had to swing in. Not a whole lot going on. They are celebrating Cape season like I've never seen it celebrated before, so that is uh, cool enough, I guess. But nothing really there for me. Check out the figure hunt video if you wanted to see that. But target clearance is a real thing. You long gamers, you're getting a little repeat, reprieve a little earlier than expected as Mr. T. Hulk Hogan, 16 $19.99 in some of the stores in my area. I'm playing a little long game. I'm waiting for those guys, those guys to go down to maybe $11.99, $9.99, something like that. Uh, I need another Hulk Hogan and Mr. T to open. So I'm going to play a little long game on that. Uh, but you're seeing a lot of stuff. Star Wars Black Series, the Target exclusives, the Saw Gerreras dropping in price. A lot of things dropping. New Marvel Legend, Bonebreaker Wave dropping down to like $12. Got to get a deal and the deals are coming soon. Like I told you guys, there's going to be tons of product coming for the holidays. Consumers are not going to be buying as much as they did the last couple of years. So the clearances are going to keep on going. There's going to be a lot of overstock, a lot of clearance. And I think after Christmas, sales are going to be legendary. It's going to be something you'll tell your great grandkids about one day. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, if you're looking for some deals, start hitting your targets. I'm going to try to pick up a Saw Gerrera sometime in the next couple of weeks. Be great to get him around 10 bucks, but if I can get him around 15, I'd be happy. About 50% off, I'll do that all day long. So be on the lookouts at your Target stores. Uh, the last little bit of wrestling news uh, Ringside Collectibles put up, of course, the next Wrecking Line. We got a forklift with Brock Lesnar. Uh, very cool. I'm all here for a forklift. That sounds like a great idea to me. So it'll be interesting to see how that one uh, nets out. But very, very cool looking figure. Uh, I'll pick it up. Uh, we'll see. We'll see when, though. I might play a little long game on that as well. But very, very cool. If you're into forklifts, for sure, uh, you got to pick that one up. Uh, the final news, a little non-wrestling, McFarlane Mortal Kombat, a Cabal repaint, easy pass. Spawn, a very cool, just plain Jane regular Spawn, which a lot of us have been wanting. Uh, we're getting that in the Mortal Kombat line. And then we're getting the Batman who laughs, so once again, he must be in the Mortal Kombat 11 game, of course. Uh, but a very cool, gruesome one, but I can see a lot of people passing on that because they have the DC Multiverse one. But that Spawn, a day one pre-order for me. Have to get that one, grabbed him off Entertainment Earth. Uh, that's what I did there. So a little Mortal Kombat action coming very soon. Like I said, tonight I'm off to Cheap Trick. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff going on, so very excited for Cheap Trick concert. But album of the week this week was not Cheap Trick. It was what I told you guys it was going to be last week. The Sick, The Dying, The Dead, Megadeth, some brand new Megadeth. Man, I was hoping to listen to this thing like five or six times this week, but I was in hardcore meetings pretty much the entire week, had no time to listen. But I did get through the album two times. Very good classic Megadeth. Even a little bit of Sammy Hagar on the album, which I thought was really cool. Ice T as well. Uh, Dave's voice, I could tell a little difference. Of course, he did go through throat cancer, but you could definitely tell a little bit difference. Uh, but an interesting album, a longer album than I expected it to be. But it is, for the most part, a lot of by the book Megadeth with some new spins and some new evolutions as they always usually do. A lot of people don't like that kind of stuff. I, I got no problem with it. I think you got to grow as a performer, grow as an artist, and Megadeth continues to grow, continues to put strong stuff out. And you're going to be on tour as well. So it's definitely worth checking out if you're into Megadeth. And that's, of course, the album of the week. So without further ado, let's get down to it. Let's get down to the weekly purchases. All right, let's get down to it. Let's get down to the weekly purchases. And like I said, I was traveling all week for work. And that's going to be the story of my life the next few weeks for sure. I think this week I'm in Iowa City area. There's a big convention there I have to be a part of, so I'll be there this week. Uh, the following week I think I'm in Minnesota. Then I think I'm in 
Kansas City the week after that. I don't know. I got to look at my calendar, but I got a lot of time in Wisconsin in October. So uh, I'll be around and I'll run into some of you guys maybe out in the uh, hunt. If I was in Kansas this week and a good viewer of the channel, Hank, flagged me down and said hi. I always love it when people say hi to me. So it's cool. You never know when you might be seeing me. It's funny. People are always shocked. Like, wait, what are you doing here? Well, I travel for work and uh, on breaks and on things like that. I'm hitting some stores. You guys know how I do. But quite the week on the hunt this week. A lot of stuff when I returned in the mailbox. And of course, a lot of stuff delayed. Uh, I was supposed to have a couple of packages today from FedEx. Unfortunately, they've been delayed till tomorrow. So is what it is. So there's some cool stuff that I could have shown you today. I guess I'll have to hold out for next week on. But without further ado, let's get down to it. Let's take a look at the old weekly purchases here. And here's a controversial one. I don't know why it is, but it's funny. Of course, you guys saw my figure hunting video this week. I found Thunder Rosa somewhere in Kansas or Missouri border. I never know where I am. I just hit the stores on my travel. I said, oh, there's a Target Walmart. I'm getting off. I'm stopping to pee. I'm stopping to look for action figures. And I found this Thunder Rosa. Documented the whole thing on YouTube. Of course, it's so funny how people always say it was a planted. He planted that there. It just it drives me nuts. It's so funny. It's so crazy to think about that I would have time to do that, first off, or anybody really would have time, let alone me, that I would bring this from my house, take it into a store, put it on the pegs, walk away from it, risking somebody grabbing this off the shelf, but then filming it, grabbing it, and then, I guess, stealing it out of the store. How do you explain that to somebody? I don't understand that, but, uh, you know, people do say that to me on my comments, which is just crazy, and then they say it's the one I found from last week. Well, I can prove to you. I don't know why I have to prove it, but I'm going to prove it. Here's last week's. Here's this week. So I did find two. I'm as honest as honest can be. I am not going to, you know, cheat YouTube and trick viewers. I mean, that's just not me. I guess, you know, you guys somewhat know me, but those that really know me, they know I'm not doing that. Come on, come on, get some sense there. And everybody's like, oh, you find all these chases. Yeah, I've found a few now. What is that, five? Five in total? But guess what? I got to think I hit more stores than the average Joe. I travel eight to 14 states, soon 14 next year. I travel eight states very often. Very often I'm in these stores, including my own stores. Well, guess what? You hit stores many times, you got better luck. Like anything else, you do it more, you got a better luck. But no magic tricks, no smoke and mirrors, no reverse shoplifting, none of that going on there. I uh, so wanted to call out that, but very cool to find a chase. I wish it was a different one I had. A lot of people have hit me up saying, what will you sell this for? What will you sell this I'd really like to trade it. Uh, I don't know. People are like, well, give it away for 25 bucks, sell it. Well, that, that doesn't make a lot of sense either. It's a chase. It's harder to find. I'd love to trade it for an equal value in the secondary market for a different chase is what I would like to do. So there you go. Uh, interesting times. Uh, hot off the press, hot off the truck from FedEx. All oh, my good friends at FedEx. I got my retros. I got both sets. Of course, a set to open, a set for Min on Card. So I got the two retro sets this week. Uh, look for those on the channel very, very soon. We keep on going. I got one Lucy this week as I'm working on a complete loose deluxe classic aggression set. I got the Stone Cold Steve Austin. I think I still need the second version of Undertaker, Kane, and I think just DDP. Those are the three loose ones I'm missing. So if anybody's got any leads on those, uh, hit me up. But Stone Cold through the door this week. And then I got my big order from Ringside Collectibles while I was gone. Of course, I had to get more stands. See you later. See you later. Got to get the stands. You guys know me. I'm a stand guy from Ringside. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Unfortunately, the greatest hits line, I was supposed to have that here today. For whatever reason, whenever FedEx says it's coming Friday, it always ends up being Saturday. So it did get delayed. I will have the greatest hits line in Saturday, probably the morning sometime. But I did get some stuff this week. I got my old boy AJ Styles, old Survivor Series Elite AJ Styles. There it is. Drew McIntyre. There he is right there looking pretty good, old Drew. Don't forget Becky Lynch. Survivor Series Becky Lynch through the door this week. And then the one I'm excited about, you know me, I got to get about two more of these somewhere along the lines. The old Ultimate Warrior, my all-time favorite. Of course, this is the Rick Rude Build-A-Figure. I'm going to have to build two Rick Rudes for both editions. I'm going to have to look through my extra Build-A-Figure parts. I think some of the black suit Rick Rude transfers over from some of the other ones we've had. So hopefully I can kind of get a deal with some parts I already have. And maybe I'll just have to buy one or two more of these as a part of the Double Up Club. Uh, we'll see what happens there. The Survivor Series through the door. Very excited about that one. And then we turn our attention to Elite Series 96. How about the Dew Drop Chase Edition? Chase Edition Dew Drop coming in hot there. An interesting one. 
Brock Lesnar. Look at those accessories. Can't wait to talk about that uh, on the channel here. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, King Shinsuke Nakamura. Going to go great with that Rick Boogs figure. Unfortunately, uh, Elite Series 97? Uh, no, 98. I think has been delayed till November sometime. So FYI on that. Got the regular edition Dewdrop as well. So there's Dewdrop there. And they keep on coming. How about the Hulkster with the old war bonnet? Hulk Hogan, there it is. And like I said, all these will be unboxed on the channel probably over the next week or so. We'll see what happens. Uh, Ilya Dragunov, NXT UK. There it is. And we keep on going. Holy cow. And then we got Kofi Kingston in his Skeletor gear. You guys know I'm loving that because I love He-Man. I love wrestling. Put them together. Sign me up all day long. So a lot of wrestling stuff through the door. Of course, the six greatest hits coming tomorrow. A lot to unbox here on the channel. A lot of wrestling content probably over the next couple of weeks for sure uh, with some other stuff. And now let's hit up part two of weekly purchases with everything else. All right, let's hit up round two of weekly purchases with everything non-wrestling or a little crossover maybe as we got this bad boy. We got my boy Robocop. Of course, I did find him on my travels. If you saw my figure hunt, found him at Target this week. Kind of a wrestling crossover. Those that know, they know. Uh, I'll probably actually drop this video today on the channel. If you're watching this Saturday weekly purchases, I'll probably put RoboCop up. I'm anxious to get him out of the package. Love me some RoboCop, like a lot of kids of the 80s do, of course. So RoboCop NECA through the door this week. How about a little Big Bad Toy Store action this week as well? Fire Lord, link in the description below for Big Bad Toy Store. I should remember to mention that as well. Uh, we got Fire Lord. Of course, this is great. I love the throwback Fantastic Four packaging. But with Galactus looming, he's looming. Should be very, very soon. We need another Herald. So we got Fire Lord from Big Bad Toy Store this week. And speaking of Big Bad Toy Store, I did get Hordak, the deluxe Hordak Masters of the Universe Princess of Power, you know, whatever we're going to call it. It's always Master Universe to me. We did get Hordak here this week. And then after Hordak, you got to have She-Ra. There's old She-Ra, the deluxe She-Ra. I don't know if this one feels so deluxe. The Hordak does, but we'll see. We'll unbox these on the channel eventually like we always do, and we'll talk about it. Should really plug the Patreon. As you guys know, I got a ton of videos here. This is going to take weeks to get out of. Uh, for you Patreon members, you'll probably have all this stuff by the end of the weekend. That's my goal. Uh, we'll see what happens. So if you want early access to all these videos and a lot more stuff on the Patreon, uh, check it out. Link in the description below. There you go. I also found this in my travels to Kansas. I had that one store in Kansas, uh, Topeka, Kansas Target. I think there's only one Target there. But I was there and I found a lot of stuff. It was a great day to be uh, alive. What a time to be alive. But I did find Junk Heap. He's been out a while, but haven't seen him in my area. Got Junk Heap this week, so happy to get that Transformer there. And then, of course, I did get the Toka and Razar. Oh, boy. Big, big NECA 2-pack, an interesting one. Seem to be shipping in sets of four, so I don't know if there needs to be any turtle anxiety about this one, but I guess you never do know. But I do got that off the book, so we're continuing on with our NECA Ninja Turtle line, of course. Then via AliExpress. Yes, you heard me right, AliExpress. I don't know what's going on. They are getting a lot of NECA stuff. Obviously, it's from overseas, but they're getting a lot of this NECA turtle stuff earlier. And guess what? It's even cheaper than traditional outlets here in America. So you get it shipped from overseas, you get it earlier, and you save some money. Smells like got to get a deal to me, and that's exactly what I did. Is I did get the Archie Comics Slash. There he is. So that's a cool enough one. I guess I'm going down this road. I wasn't sure about it. And then we got the uh, Mirage Comics one, Renette. So we did get those two. So Turtle Mania running wild. Two more turtles here. Two more turtle lines. How many turtle lines are there? There's like 50 turtle lines going on right now. That's what it feels like at least. So we did get those two via AliExpress this week. And I'm looking around. I got one more thing here. And this one I am so hyped up about. I am so excited to finally have this in my hand to see what all the fuss is about, as one might say. As I do have from Super 7, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, G.I. Joe Ultimates version of the bat. This is the comic version of the bat. And as you guys know, I had to pick up two of these bad boys. So I got two of these bats via uh, Super 7. I am so excited. I am very pumped up for the Super 7 Ultimate Edition cartoon line. As you guys know, like a lot of us of my age bracket in the 80s, all about the G.I. Joe cartoon. That is my lifeblood. I love the comics. I love some of the other properties, some of the other cartoon series. But a real American hero, man, I watched every episode of those hundreds, literally hundreds of times. So to get Super 7 figures from the TV show cartoon back in the day... 
Oh boy, I am excited, and this is our first time to feel what these figures actually feel like, to see what all the fuss is about, and man, I'm excited for it. Bring on Series 1, but I guess I get a little teaser here with the bats, so as you guys know, I'm excited for that. So there it is, quite the week in the weekly purchases department. How about you guys out there? You guys pick up anything? You guys find anything good this week? Let me know in the comments down below, and of course, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you don't want to miss a video dangerously close to 20,000 subscribers would love to have you a part of it don't forget about that mezco wolverine it's free to enter i don't know why you wouldn't that is a pricey figure even if you don't collect marvel uh figures wolverine figures whatever guess what that's a heck of a trade bait item you could use to get some extra money you could do something with so i would recommend everybody to sign up for that that is quite the video or quite the video it is but it's quite the giveaway uh with our friends over at entertainment earth and next make sure you're supporting entertainment earth through the link in the description below so a lot going on on the channel a lot going on as usual i appreciate each and every one of you guys uh, here for it hopefully next week we'll talk a little twenty thousand subscriber celebration on the channel see what else we're getting into see what other purchases we got all that kind of stuff uh but until then uh, make sure you follow me on social media sir paul 64 twitter instagram the underscore kyle underscore peterson and don't forget about the patreon for early access to videos bonus content exclusive content and of course don't forget it's the best way to support the channel as i always say so now I'm rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling my way into the weekend and the Cheap Trick concert. So I'll see you guys all real soon.